Tonight at 10, a tree expert told Way 31 the significant amount of rain we've had recently could have damaged tree roots, meaning there's an increased risk of trees falling because of the storm that Chief Meteorologist Kate McKenna just told you about. Way 31's Cody Fisher is live in Huntsville now. He's finding out the warning signs and if there's anything you can do to protect your house before these storms arrive. Cody? Dan, right now, I want everybody at home to kind of check out the roots of this tree. The tree expert that I'm talking with says that this is one of the warning signs when the tree roots start to lift up the ground. And in this case, it appears to have lifted up a sidewalk as well. Now, another warning sign is when a tree starts to lean. That is a very, very bad sign that that tree might be hazardous. Now, I spoke with a family here in Huntsville today that knows all too well how dangerous falling trees can be. The Andruli family lives in Huntsville. They just had a tree removed from their backyard. It was not dead, they just wanted to build a garage. But they're liking their decision more and more, knowing strong winds could be coming our way. We're glad to have it out of here after the saturated ground and, and whatnot, especially with the storms that are coming. Corey Brown is an arborist in Madison County, and he knows how to spot hazardous trees. To find out if recent rains damaged the root system, he says one sign to look out for is what he calls a stag headed tree. A tree like this, which is not flushing, will have maybe a dead zone or it will have dead branches that don't leaf out like a normal plant. Brown says in the last seven to 10 days, trees in our area produced leaves for spring, raising the risk of a tree falling during the storm. Once you get the leaves on and you have it catching the wind and the sail effect, you've got a lot more leverage on that tree and it's easier to lay over. On top of the danger of a tree falling on your house, the Andruli family says the extra headache of dealing with insurance companies comes along with it. We had two trees fall on two separate properties and the properties had a track record of other trees falling on the property. We were considered high risk and we got dropped. So they were dropped from their homeowner's insurance and had to get more expensive insurance from out of state. Since then, the health of the trees around their home is very important to them. We pay like acute attention to that. Now, it is very late notice to try and get trees removed from your property before this storm blows through. But the arborist says if you can't get it done tomorrow, to make sure to at least get broken branches out of the top and the limbs of the trees so that those broken branches don't then fly off in the wind. Now, if you have a leaning tree close to a bedroom in your house, it might also be a good idea to sleep somewhere else in your house Saturday into Sunday because that storm is expected to blow through in the middle of the night. Reporting live in Huntsville, Cody Fisher, Way 31 News.